Ooh. Oh, no. Huh. I'm sorry. I love you. Hi. Oh my god. Uh, what? Awesome, Andro. This isn't the back room. What's going on? Oh, I guess you're my mentor? What do we got here? What kind of reference do I see here? Let me see here. I see Death Note. I see Holy Bible. Centaria. Ritual spell and magic spells. That one I can't really read. Some jars filled with... Something. A bookcase with books and glass jars in it. Some of the jars have herbs and strange powders in them. Cloves of garlic, spices, and different colored concoctions. Maybe this guy is a cook? Various jars, a radio, and a string of garlic. An alien? Coolness? Touch it. I don't know where I am. So let's not touch anything yet. Leave. <laughs> Crystal ball. A poster of the awesome Sandro. This Sandro must be a singer or something important? In the poster, he looks like a superstar. I'm sure he'll know how I got here. Hello. Hello, Agatha. Welcome. Have we met before? How do you know my name? I know because I am... <laughs> Sandro the Austin Master of Divinations. To my friends, Awesome Sandro. Uh... Never heard of you. I'm your mentor. I'm gonna help you create your own religion. Ah, so that was you in the little wooden house? Yes. Wow, that was quick. I thought it would take longer for us to meet. Anyway, how did I get here? Where are we? This is my control center where I give in-depth personalized advice. This is where I receive and orientate all of my students. Given that you don't have a telephone number or an email, they told me to get in touch with you using special means. So I teleported you here. You teleported me here? And how did you do that? Are you a magician too? I already told you. I'm... <laughs> Sandro the Awesome Master of Divinations. Yeah, I got it. But what does that mean? Are you a magician or not? Pretty much. In addition to being an expert in teleportation, I can tell the future. My specialties are... Tarotination. Burpination. Slamming shotination. And all the other divinations that you could ever think of. I am the master of all divinations because I am... Awesome Sandro, yeah, I got it. But what are these divinations? They're, they're metaphysical techniques or magical arts that are used to see the future. Ah. And what has that got to do with the religion? A great deal, because just like religion, magic is based on faith. In the end, all that matters is that people believe in it. But don't worry, you just need to trust me. Let's get to work on carnivorism. That's why you're here, after all. Carnivorism? Yes, carnivorism. That will be the name of your religion. Given that you like to eat meat, you're a butcher, and that your problems are related to those things. I thought that carnivorism would be the ideal name for your religion. What do you think? Hmm. Sounds good. And what does carnivorism involve? Well, all religions are based on a perfect lie which is able to transform fear into faith. 
You will develop each of the necessary components to create that perfect lie. Me? But you're gonna help me, aren't you? Yes, of course. I will give you guidance whenever you need it. That's why I have my fabulous deck of cards. What do you need the deck of cards for? And I know I ask a lot of questions, but it's because there are a lot of things about religion and faith that I don't understand yet. Don't worry. As we progress through the course, you'll become an expert. Returning to the subject at hand, when you don't know what to do to obtain the component you're searching for, let me know and we'll see what the cards say. The cards will show us something that will help us move forward. For example, the first thing carnivorism needs is a god. And before you ask, a god is a superior, imaginary, and powerful being. A god is the one in charge of a religion, so you need one. Once we have a god, the followers of carnivorism will do what he says. Although in reality, it will be what you say. But we can worry about that later. Mm, okay. And where can I find a god? It's for precisely that reason that we have the cards. They'll show us the way. Let's see what they say. Yeah. Mm, magic, 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 magic! Pick a card. Oh. Ah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. We've got the dagger, the blood, and the drunk. And what does that mean? It means that it will be necessary to find the blood of an animal. I don't think that will be difficult. Excellent. Take this bottle. Fill with animal blood and bring it back to me. With the blood, we'll be able to create the god of carnivorism. Will we need anything else? With just the blood, we'll be able to create a god? You just worry about bringing me the blood, the bottle full of blood. You'll see. Okay, but... Can you send me back to the butchers? Sure. If you leave through the door, you'll go there directly. I'll take care of bringing you back once you've got the animal blood. Okay, see you soon then, I guess. See you soon. Sandro! Alessandro. That's my mentor, Sandro. Although he likes to go by the awesome Sandro. I can't remember what to do. I need him to help me with cards. I'm not sure how we're going to create carnivorism. All this talk of denominations is a bit weird. I don't get how he was able to teleport me. I'm gonna ask him about the crystal ball. Teleporting doesn't have anything to do with telling the future, right? Well, no, but it's still magic. Although I've got absolutely no idea how I do it. Hang on, I don't, I do know why. Because I am... Ah, <sighs> the awesome Sandro. And I'm extremely awesome. <laughs> okay. What are these divinations you keep talking about? Divinations are strange magical techniques used to tell the future. For oh, slamming shot divination is based on drinking strange cocktails, being wasted for a while, and then believing that the visions you had were real and made total sense. With tarot divination, you can guess the future, but this time by simply looking at the cards. I am recognized around the globe in these techniques. So I'll definitely be using them during the course to help you. But really, we both know that you're making up the card readings. Why do you take any notice of them? Well, because sometimes they work. Don't ask how that's possible, because I don't really understand it either. But sometimes it works. It might have something to do with a probability or some other scientific thing. Like I said before, it's a question of faith, just like religion. Okay, well, let me go with the... Oh, I'm curious about the string of garlic. Let me ask about that crystal ball. Do you use the crystal ball to tell the future too? No, I use it to watch the TV. <laughs> okay. Curious about the string of garlic and all the other stuff? I don't need to know anything else at the moment. I'm going to do something else. Okay, good luck. Come and see me if you need help. Alright, what's on the old crystal tube ball? 
crystal ball Sandra uses it as a TV. Get me out of here. Oh my god. Whoa, it worked. I'm back at the butchers. Uh amazing. Piggy, I'm sorry, but we have work to do. No, 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 no. Let's look around here first. Piggy bank! That's where I put the money my mom gives me for working here. I've told her that she doesn't need to pay me, but it makes her feel happier, so I just take it. Give me my money. The money could come in handy, but we'll need to smash the piggy bank first. Hmm. Let's see here. What else do we got around here? Pig, I'm just looking around first. The train is where the blood goes when I slice up my animals. Oh, so we gotta put this there, right? The bucket I use to collect the blood when I'm chopping up the animals. Take it. It's yours. Give it. Two knives and a sharpener. My work tools. My work tools. Our last pig. I've enjoyed his company, but his time has come. I hope we get some new animals soon, or I'll be really lonely. Okay, uh, uh, let me see here. Um, oh, there's the bottle. A bucket. Can we combine? The bottle Sandro gave me to fill with animal blood. So I assume we put the bucket down here. And then, when we get the blood, we'll get the, uh, bottle out and put it in there. Uh, animal, I'm sorry, <laughs> but <laughs> this is not going to... I've already got my butcher's knives. I don't need the sharpener. Can I break this open? The hand will fit through the hole in the money box. We'll need to smash it with a hammer or something similar. Can I smash it with a butcher's knife? Those knives are for cutting meat, not for using as a hammer. We should try with something else. Let me see something here. I'm gonna save this. Yup. I just want to thank you all for joining me, continuing on with this adventure. Uh, we're going to do something a little drastic here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you, my friend the pig. He's not been happy since I strung him up yesterday. I should say goodbye to him, and then turn him into premium quality meat. Goodbye, piggy. Our last pig. Enjoy this company. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, pig. Do you wanna do this the easy way? He's not bleeding from anywhere. Maybe if we cut him a little bit. Ooh. No! Huh? I'm sorry. I love you. Hi. Oh my god. I guess this is butchering. Meat, meat, meat. Oh, she's happy again with the meat. <laughs> Job done. I got pig aside. Oh, that was hard to do. The bucket I use to collect the blood when I'm chopping up animals. It's full of blood from our last pig. <sighs> Give me this. I need it. That was hard. The bottle's full of pig's blood. A glass bottle of pig's blood. Uh, can we take some meat to go? All that's left of our last pig. I need to give it to my mom. I've left all the meat here, nice and tidy, so my mom can sell it. If anyone comes to the store, that is. I guess I can't take- I sharpened my knives already, so we don't need the sharpener. Agatha? Agatha? You crazy. Don't need this anymore. We don't need any more blood, at least not yet. So if we go through there, are we gonna go and meet Ale- uh, not Alejandro. Sandro. Alejandro? Sandro! Ah, oh, here we go. 
I like being teleported. It tickles a bit, but it's relaxing. Alright, Sandro. I got what you need. Sandro's helping me create my own religion. Okay. Uh give him the blood. I assume asking him about the cards every time is about is similar to Nika's cognac concoction, where it gives you a hint. I'm gonna try and avoid that. I've got the blood. Perfect. Give me the blood. Give me the bottle. Here you go. Don't drink it. Okay. Shake it up real nice. <laughs> Here you go. What have you done to the blood? And why have you given it back to me? To find the god of carnivorism, we need a special potion made of animal blood. At least that's what the card said. I've added some of my magical spices to the blood. And created an awesome elixir with my magic cocktail mixing skills. Ah. Now you have to drink from the bottle. Don't drink it all, though. Take a swig, and when the potion starts to take effect, I'll explain the rest. Okay. Uh. Huh. <laughs> Gross. This concoction actually tastes pretty good. I know. Every year I do a tour of thousands of hotels, so that everyone can try my magnificent cocktails and... Sandro, I'm not interested in your stories. Ugh, so rude. Yes, but what do I do now? How long does it take the potion to take effect? Not long. Wait a little while. A little bit more. Almost there. Okay, let's begin. What? Agatha. Uh, hello, Sandro. Where are you? I can't see you. Right now, I'm inside your head. You can't weigh very much. I can't feel anything. I'm in your mind, Agatha. I'm using my special powers to connect your dormant imaginarium with your reality. In other words, you're navigating through your own imagination. And if all goes well, the god of carnivorism will appear. At least, that's what the cards say. Okay. Good. I can tell that you're starting to trust me. That's the spirit. I don't see that I have a choice. Well, I guess I can work with that. Anyway, can you tell me what you see around you? Right now, it's really dark. With more dark. And... Creepiness. The only thing that I can see is that I'm standing in a puddle of blood. Anything else? Is anyone there with you? I don't think so. Oh, there's more. Hang on. I can see a shadow. I think there's something approaching. And it's huge! Whoa, it's a giant pig! A pig? Hmm, that makes sense. Hello, giant pig. Yes, that's me. And what's your name? Oh, and does it hurt? Okay, that's good. So that's you? Yes. Okay, hang on a minute. Hey, Sandro. Tell me. I found the god of carnivorism. Oh, really? Yes, he's a giant pig called the Great Bleeding Pig. So the Great Bleeding Pig... Wait, he wants to tell me something else. Yes. Oh. Yes, yeah, sometimes that can happen. I like it rare, too. Okay, Agatha, you've met the god of carnivorism. That's all we need. Say goodbye and I'll disconnect you. Goodbye, Agatha. You're so right. Sausages are very much undervalued. Thank you! Thank you, Agatha! Everybody gives me, like, all kinds of flack when I order sausage over bacon for breakfast. 
but I usually get both anyway. Agatha! Ah, is that even possible? Inside? Are you listening to me, Agatha? Come back right now! Seriously? That's enough. I need to bring her back before it's too late. And what do I need to do to get in? Wait, where are you going? Already? So soon? But I need your help! <laughs> She's tripping. <laughs> She's tripping on the other side. Why? But I said I wanted to go in! Please don't go. Great bleeding pig. Whoa. Great bleeding pig! It's over, Agatha. I've disconnected you from your dormant imaginarium. Why did you disconnect me? I was hanging out with the Great Bleeding Pig. Agatha, the Great Bleeding Pig doesn't exist. What do you mean he doesn't exist? He seemed real to me. Well, he isn't real. You created the Great Bleeding Pig with your imagination, based on all the dormant thoughts in your mind. And with the help of my awesome cocktail, of course. Later on, for all this to work, you'll have to convince others that he exists. But no matter what, you must remember that the Great Bleeding Pig is nothing more than a symbol. A tool, just another piece of the carnivorism puzzle. A made-up god for a made-up religion, okay? That's a shame. We were getting on really well. But yes, I understand. The Great Bleeding Pig doesn't exist because I invented him. But I can use him as the god of carnivorism to convince... everyone. Hey, who do I need to convince? Don't worry about that at the moment. There are still some other things that we need to find. But before I forget, what were you and the great bleeding pig talking about? What does it matter if none of it was real? It wasn't real, but maybe what you were talking about could be useful. Right. Well, he told me that he really likes sausages, and that he likes meat rare, just like me. I'm a medium type of person. He also mentioned that deep inside, he has everything that I need to solve my problems. Interesting. And what does that even, and what does that mean exactly? I don't know, just as he was going to explain, you disconnected me. Sorry, but I rescued you. I was talking to you, and you didn't respond. If I hadn't disconnected you on time, you would have been forever trapped in your own imagination. Ah, in that case, thanks. No problem. Maybe I should drink some more of that potion from the bottle. That way I can speak to the Great Bleeding Pig again. That's not a good idea, it's too soon. You should leave more time between journeys into your dormant imaginarium. Ah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's get on with finding the next part of carnivorism. Yes, we've got a god, now we need a sacred book. And in that book, we'll put together all the necessary principles to ensure that carnivorism makes sense and will be useful. And what principles are those? First, get your hands on a book. We'll worry about the principles later. Okay. We'll need a thick book with loads of pages. Lots of blank pages, that is. Does that even exist? A book with blank pages? I don't know. You'll have to look for one. And if you can't find one, you can make one yourself. Okay, I'll think of something. I'll go outside, take a look around and see what I can find. Excellent. Ah, by the way, given that we're talking about the sacred book of carnivorism, perhaps the cover should be red. I like it. Okay, that's decided. Find a book with lots of blank pages and a red cover. When you have it, we'll write the principles for your new religion. And with that, we'll have the sacred book of carnivorism. And we'll be one step closer to solving your problems. I'll get on with it. Good luck. And remember that if you need help, we can always consult the cards. 
Okay, but first I'm gonna take a look around and see what I can find. As you wish. You know where to find me. Oh, I got another achievement. It's called Dormant Imaginarium. Let me see here. What we got? We got creepy blood? I see- Okay, maybe this is the thing that you drink to, uh, to know what's going on. Let me see here. Uh, you don't have anything else to say, do you? Can't remember what I have to do. I need help with- oh, Nope. I'm not sure how we're going to create card numbers. Um, nope. Okay. I'm gonna keep you curious about that string of garlic. I'm gonna try and leave some things here, because I want all of you to try this. I'm really loving this so far. <laughs> this is just as good as the first game. <laughs> so, I want you all to try it for yourselves. Okay, I'll be right here trying to improve my crystal ball skills. Let's go. Mama, it's time for me to go. I'll see you next time with more Agatha Knife. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back again with some more Agatha Knife. Loving it! <laughs>